Hi friends. Uh, for math yesterday, we started a new unit on geometry. It is um, unit 10. Um, I wanted to skip over the rest of the subtraction because that's something that I really want to spend a lot of time with when we get back to school. So I thought if we jumped forward into geometry that it would be uh, better for us. Um, geometry is the study of shapes. Um, so yesterday you began this and I want to go over some um, different shapes with you and also go over some language that you're going to see in your work today. Um, when I tested you earlier in the school year on shapes, you guys were all really good with the shapes. So I just want to review the shape names and then we'll talk about some of the characteristics of the shapes. So the first shape, oops, that's not very clear, let's see. The first shape that I want to do for you has four lines like that, and that is called a square. And um, the next shape I want to do for you is a round one like this called a circle. And I want to do one of these for you with two straight lines and one on the bottom. Or sometimes it doesn't look like that. Sometimes it looks more like this. Um, but it still has three lines. We call these triangles. Um, the next one I want to show you is one that has two long lines and two short lines on the ends. So it can either be long um, horizontally like this or you might see it looking like this, tall like that. And those are called rectangles. And the last one I wanna show you has six sides, so it goes uh, straight line on the top, straight line on the bottom, and then it goes kind of out like a V on this side, and out like a V on this side. And that is called a hexagon. Hexagon. And all of these are what we would call flat shapes or uh, two-dimensional shapes. We call them plane uh, figures or flat shapes. So um, they have no um, multiple uh, sides to them. I, no, let me change that. They don't have a, um, they're not solids is what I'm trying to say. They're just flat, plain shapes. So we will call these flat shapes or they're just a two-dimensional plain figure. Um, so again, we have squares, circles, triangles, rectangles, and hexagons. Now, when, when we're looking and analyzing these shapes, um, we're going to look at two things. We're going to look at something that's called a vertex, which is V-E-R-T-E-X, vertex, and it has that x, x at the end, vertex. X. And we're also going to be looking at sides. Okay, and I want to go over what these things are. Now, when I look at a square, I can see I have a side, a side is a straight line like this. So there's one, two, three, four sides. And in, um, when I'm measuring or when I'm counting sides, I will make a, like a little line like this. So one, two, three, four. So um, a square has four sides. One, two, three, four. So when I'm adding up the sides, um, I'm counting how many straight lines I see going around that object. They're straight lines. Now, in the corners where the two lines meet, right here where the two sides meet, there's a little corner. And these are what we call this right here is called a vertex. One is a vertex, but when I'm looking at a square, I see one, two, three, four, ver four of them. So I'm gonna, instead of calling them a vertex, because vertex is one, I'm gonna say four vertices. 
because vertices is the plural of vertex. So I have one, two, three, four vertices, and I have one, two, three, four sides on a square. Let's take a look at the triangle. So when I look at my triangles, I see how many straight lines. Before I do it, I want you to think about it. How many straight lines do you see? Here's one on this side, two on this side, and then one across the bottom. And again, I mark them with a little line, a little straight line like this. So I see one, two, three sides on this triangle. And then let me count the vertices. The vertices uh, are wherever the sides meet at a corner. So there's one, here's another one, and here's another one. So my triangle has one, two, three vertices. What about this triangle? It looks like a different shape triangle, a different type of triangle, but would it still have three sides and three vertices? Let's see, here's a corner, here's a corner, and here's a corner. Remember corners or vertices are where the sides meet, so there's three. And as far as the sides go, there's one, two, three. Three sides on a triangle. Um, so sometimes triangles will be equilateral where all the sides will match and sometimes they will be um, different triangles where the side lengths do not match. Um, let's skip down here to the hexagon. Now the hexagon has a lot of um, sides and vertices. Now I want you to notice that on the square we had four sides and four vertices. Those were the same numbers, four and four. On the triangle, we had three vertices and three sides, so that was also the same. Now, let's check out this hexagon. It has one line here at the top, one line here at the bottom. It has one line here and one line here, so that's one, two, three, four. Then it's got one over here and one over here. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six, six sides. Now, if triangles had three sides and three vertices, and squares had four sides and four vertices, how many vertices do you think the hexagon is going to have? If it had six sides, do you think it will also have six vertices? Let's find out. Remember, vertices are the corners where the two lines come together. So here's one, and here's one on this opposite side. So there's two, here's one, and here's one. One, two, three, four. Here's one, and here's one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six vertices on the hexagon. So, interesting, six sides and six vertices. Hmm. I wonder if that will be the same for the rectangles. Now, rectangles are similar to a square because they also have the same amount of sides and vertices as a square, but the sides are not equal. So, it will have two long ones and two shorter ones. So, let's see on the rectangle. There's a short one on the top and a short one on the bottom. So, that's two sides there. And then it's got these long ones on the side. That's two on the sides. So we've got one, two, three, four sides. And when we look at the vertices, we have one, two, three, four vertices. So the corners are the vertices. So again, four sides, four vertices. What about if the rectangle is going horizontal? Will it still be the same? Let's see. One, here's a corner, two, here's a corner, three. Here's a corner four, four vertices, and one, two, three, four sides. So again, four sides, four vertices. Now, let's take a look at the circle. The circle is interesting because do you on the circle see any straight, straight lines? And do you see any corners where the two sides meet at a point like that? Do you see that on a circle? Nope. So circles can be tricky because circles have zero vertices and 
zero sides because there's no straight lines and there's no corners or points on a circle. So they are a zero and a zero, okay? So today in your math, when you're working on your math today, I want you to be analyzing these flat shapes. I want you to count their vertices, which are the corners or the points, and I want you to count the sides, which are the straight lines, okay, on these shapes. And we have square, you'll be working with squares today, triangles, hexagons, rectangles, and circles. And don't be fooled by that circle. It has no straight lines and no corners or points where the lines meet, okay? So have a good time in math today. Keep up the great work. I'm super proud of you. You guys are learning a lot and doing a great job.